line. And here is the 40 watt panel. So the daytime when the sun come from outside, I think after one o'clock the sun will hit the solar and then from here one wire go to the solar charge controller here and here is the uh, meter to test how many amp going and down is small batteries because I used to have big batteries but I sold out because no need uh, mostly these batteries are full so I daytime I just charge my phone on directly from the solar and now you can see here charging from 1.4 amp and this is the meter USB and I'm charging from one out goes to the car charger and they have a USB port so the two USB one going to the phone one going to the power bank is already charged 100% the mobile battery charged now is 53 percent and here is another power bank headway cell lifepo batteries so here is inverter 12 volt so in case I have to charge uh, double quickly um, 3 4 power bank or USB devices so for 12 volt to convert 220 volt and then it will have 5 port uh, USB adapter 220 volt to 5 volt so I can use this or here's 19 volt for charge laptop or any 19 volt device so this is very easy and good setup and I get free energy and there's a 5 volt USB fans power banks fuel so most of the time I have free energy from Sun as you can see here it's just small setup that this is the basic concept actually I have a solar lights so it, it have it can charge all day and can use night time in case normally we don't use but it's just like free energy and we get fully power bank my my mobiles I have two mobiles in home three and one tablet and two laptops so I get all the energy mostly free from from these panels so it's not much difference but at least I know how the way my point is if we learn how to get energy if like normally people they cover this kind of windows with the curtain or something so stop blocking the sun right but I use this method give me one thing uh, sun block second thing get energy convert to the solar panel here oh, sorry solar control charger charge my big batteries and the second way directly charge daytime my tablet and mobile or any kind of USB devices there is two, two ports here USB and one port here USB so this is standard charger car charger I connected with the solar panel so it will keep charge my everything and in case in emergency or anything I have 220 volt from this 220 volt so I can run 220 volt stuff also it's like a UPS but this kind of UPS don't need 220 volt it will charge now the batteries 12.1 is almost full already 12 volt battery fully charged now is a 12.1 so that's a simple and you can use big batteries also so it will continue charge so I don't need it because I don't have much space and I don't use to uh, I don't want to use it anyway that's all simple setup just for information hope you like my small video but informative you can do same kind if even you have a small window and you disturb by the sun and you put the curtain or something I will suggest you buy the solar panel at least 40 watt 20 watt and just put and charge your daytime for big 20 20,000 or 40,000 milliamp power banks in case an emergency you should have one one or two USB fans and 
LED lights for 12 volt so you will have never out of battery rub that is better than any torches or small power bank power bank will charge 220 volt if you don't have light then you don't have to worry because you have daytime now there is no sun you can see there is no sun there is no sunny day it's just cloudy day and you can see here it's no sun and I can open actually this window till here also it's not blocking my way to window so this area is enough I can look outside everywhere everywhere down here there's a house and I can close it and everything is just normal because this area normally don't have to use it only this window open so okay thank you bye bye this is how they look like and it is from inside I just use my selfie stick <laughs>